Dr. Jeff Harp from Highland Family Medicine is back with us. Good morning, doctor. Thank you. Good to see you. Uh, we are talking about preparing for pregnancy. Obviously, this is a topic that is important for couples and women especially. I suppose it goes without saying, but we begin with the idea of, of starting by making healthy choices, right? That's right. So women who are thinking about becoming pregnant, couples who are thinking about becoming pregnant, have a lot of things that they could be thinking about. Uh, the first is really a woman who's thinking about becoming pregnant should be up to date on her usual health care maintenance. So things like getting immunizations that are due. The other thing is um, cleansing oneself from any kind of substances which might make a problem for the pregnancy, such as uh, cigarette smoking, alcohol use, and then use of any kind of illicit substances. Uh, people should get those things out of their lives to make sure that their pregnancy is as healthy as possible. Body weight is not always a comfortable subject for folks, but it is something that women should be considering as well. That's right. People who are overweight have more complications during pregnancy than people who are of a more normal body weight. So people who are thinking about losing weight, it's good to do that before thinking about conceiving. What about uh, vitamins or medications in terms of preparing? So it is recommended that all women who are thinking about becoming pregnant take a vitamin. Um, for most women, a, a regular prenatal multivitamin that has 400 micrograms of folic acid in it um, is enough. They should start a month before. But women who are at increased risk for birth defects that involve the neural tube should take more, and they should talk to their primary health clinician about that. What about other medications that a woman may already be on? Some women are already taking medicine for chronic disease. Some of those medicines are safe during pregnancy, but some of them are definitely not. And so any woman who's taking medicine regularly should talk to their regular uh, health care clinician about are these medicines safe, and if not, might need to make some changes, might need to stop some completely. So that stuff should be done before they even think about conceiving. Really important conversation. Uh, for couples, they, they should probably consider uh, testing as well, right? That's right. There's various kind of genetic diseases, sickle diseases, one um, that's out there that they might think about having testing for to see if they're at increased risk. And women who are at risk for diabetes should think about being tested for diabetes too. Lots for a woman to think about, lots for couples to think about. Uh, for the woman in particular, when you're considering all of these factors, uh, what's a good first step? Good first step is to go to the person who you usually go to for health care. So a woman should talk to her primary health care clinician about these things. Um, they might be able to do the testing and do the counseling, or if they can't, they would say, well, I can get you to somebody who can do that for you. But start where you usually go for health care. And certainly they can help answer any questions you may have at that point. Mm -hmm. Doctor, thank you. Sure. Preparing for pregnancy. Perhaps you are this spring. If so, we hope this helps. As always, we're sharing it online at rochesterfirst.com.